Deep in the Grand Nozellian Mines lay a most unexpected discovery. Crystals of pure salt. Now in possession of knowledge that could alter the course of history in Norzelia, the members of House Wolford gather at Whiteholm Castle to discuss their next move. Carefully, for it has the potential to alter the balance of power across Norzelia. This is an opportunity to reshape the realm to our benefit. We must be strategic. It's a target on our backs is what it is. There'll be no peace for us so long as we hold them. Hyzant will set upon us with a fury we've never known if they hear of this. She's right. They will stop at nothing to defend their faith. Nor will Esfrost go quietly into the night. Then let us prepare for when word does spread, rather than fret over how long we can keep the secret. Whether we protect the salt as ours, or find another way to use it, we must act soon. <sighs> what say you, Your Majesty? We find ourselves at a crossroads. Not just as a kingdom but an entire realm. Our... I too wish to act quickly. But I beg you all for a moment alone with my thoughts. Your caution is admirable, but ill-advised. Hesitation could cost us everything. That much is obvious. Yet I cannot race headlong into the unknown when so much depends upon us. Benedict, I find myself unmoored as well. I wish to hear from all present before we decide upon a course of action. As you wish. Pray let it be swift. Saranoa, answer me this. Can I count on you to walk the path with me, whatever it may be? I was named Lord of House Woolfort long before I was inducted into the Saintly Seven. And I've been your friend even longer still. Say no more. Take the others to Castle Woolfort and await my word. Likewise, inform me of any movements from Hyzant. As you wish. Until we meet again. Ah, Milo has sent a dispatch from Glenbrook. Deep within the Grand Nozalian Mines lies... Hmm. It would seem salt crystals were found within. Impossible! Does she mean salt can be found outside the source? Yes, but we were well aware of that. Rosellan legends tell us as much. Well, no one told me of these legends. This is not about you. By the Hierophant's decree, not even the Saintly Seven are to be told of the Goddess's works. Hmm. The discovery of salt outside the Source explains Gustadolf's recent... provocations. How can you be so calm? The teachings tell us that salt is a blessing, bestowed only upon the Goddess's followers. The discovery of these salt crystals is an existential threat to Hyzant. Salt crystals are salt, too. We need only keep word of this discovery from spreading. Of course. But how? The Hierophant has spoken. Minister Exham, you shall raise an army and seize the Grand Nozellian Mines in Hyzant's name. The Hierophant asks us to invade Glenbrook? Do you have another way to silence King Roland and his royal hounds in House Wolfort? 
Minister Serenoa is one of us, and thus is honor bound to heed the Hierophant's word. But we know not if he will do so, or if he will cast his lot with his precious king. You shall ask him yourself when you surround Castle Woolfort en route to the mine. And if he resists? You are free to deal with him, as we do with all who forsake the goddess. Have you heard the popular rumor, Lord Claris? That Hyzant intends to raise an army against Glenbrook? Yes, I am familiar. So it's reached the Consortium, then. Is it true? King Roland has only just reclaimed the Crown City with Hyzant's help, not to mention restored relations with them. Ordinarily, such a thing would be unthinkable, but the rumors are so persistent that I think something may be afoot. For example? I wouldn't be so restless if I had an example to give. Esfrost gathers its troops at Twinsgate. Might they have heard the rumors as well? Perhaps. But therein lies the opportunity for merchants like us. You can't wage war without a surfeit of supplies. You're quite right about that. And each shift in Norzelia's power balance opens new business opportunities. Will the Consortium continue trading with Hyzant? Tis difficult to say. I believe House Wolfort's actions from here on will be key to the Consortium's decision. House Wolfort, you say? Indeed. They've been involved in most every conflict between the three nations on this continent. Why stop now? I shall wait and see how Lord Serenoa responds first, lest I make any hasty decisions. I am gladdened to see each and every one of you, my ironclad brothers in arms here at Twinsgate. I have asked you here to tell you of a most fortuitous discovery. We have found crystals of salt deep in the Grand Norzellian mines. Alas, Glenbrook has taken those very mines from us. What's worse, Glenbrook's esteemed House Wolfort is led by one of the saintly seven of Hyzant. They will no doubt be informed of the salt crystals, and their precious religion will be shaken to its core. I trust you can all imagine how Hyzant will respond to such an affront. They will not go quietly, but will instead seek the crystals for themselves, that their reign of terror may continue unimpeded. Therefore, we must subdue Glenbrook and seize the mines for Esfrost if we are to counter this grave threat. But we cannot stop there, for that will only draw Hyzant to our gates. They will stop at nothing to conquer all of Norzelia in their name. The duchy has never been in a more precarious position, but we will not yield. We subscribe to no faith and we bend the knee for no king. We shall greet our enemies at Twinsgate with cold, hard steel. Our newest weapon, the Death Snell, is nearly complete. With it, we shall strike back at... The false goddess shall crumble beneath the sheer force of our iron will. Raise your swords, my black iron heroes. Your names shall be cast in iron when the histories of this day are written. You shall be known as the defenders of Esfrost. For Esfrost! Oh, yes. The Death Snare will reduce many a falsehood to rubble, dear Gustadolf.
Hyzant has learned of the salt crystals. Minister Exham of the Saintly Seven wastes no time in mustering his army, which now marches on the Grand Norzelian Mines. Elsewhere, Gustadolf amasses his own forces at Twinsgate in anticipation of the war to come. All eyes are on Glenbrook, where Roland and Serenoa's pronouncement could touch off a battle for the soul of Norzelia. After much deliberation, Roland makes his way to Castle Wolffort to inform Serenoa of the decision that now weighs heavy on his heart. I appreciate you coming all this way, Roland. I was the one who asked for your time. So it is only natural I make the journey. I wish to tell you that I finally made up my mind. And I would hear your decision if you were willing to share it with me. I've long pondered over the one thing that Norzelia needs most. I thought back on the Salt Iron War. Thirty years have passed. Yet the root of our conflict remains the same. Each nation still thinks only of itself, wishing to fill its coffers even at the expense of others. But who bears the brunt of such a war? The people. Exactly so. The avarice of the ruler is an existential threat to their loyal subjects. And yet without that wealth, the people suffer just as much. They languish in poverty. This much is obvious. But there can be no winner without a loser. Remove one, and you necessarily remove the other. If we achieve equality, we achieve peace. And how do you propose we achieve... No. No, surely you don't mean... Yes. The Goddess's teachings. All can live as equals under the Goddess. An authority greater than any king. The model nation was in front of us all along, Serenoa. The holy state of Hyzant. I have decided that we must give the salt crystals in the Grand Norzelian Mines to Hyzant. And in so doing, you'll give them control of all Norzelia. Exactly. There will be no more squabbling over salt. Norzelia will know eternal peace at last. Unequal peace, surely. One built on the backs of a people like the Rosell, if not the Rosell themselves. I am not blind to that fact. But so few will suffer for the good of so many. Nothing in this world is perfect, Serenoa. The sacrifice of the few for the good of the many. It's the only clear answer, and one I would give every time I were asked. Submitting to the goddess will rob you of your kingship. So be it. My crown. My pride. They are but small prices to pay for peace. You are truly prepared to throw it all away. Join me, Serenoa. Let us unite Norzelia under the Holy State. Roland, this is quite sudden. I understand. Pray, take all the time you need. I expect Frederica will want nothing to do with this plan, seeing as it forsakes her people. I am already mourning the rift this may cause between you, but I shall not be swayed. This will be my final act as Glenbrook's king. King Roland's anguish plays plainly across his face. It pains me to see him so tortured. I'm not surprised. The future of our kingdom, to say nothing of the entire continent, rests upon his shoulders. Pray tell, what do you intend to do about the salt crystals? In truth... I cannot decide. Salt is too precious to be hoarded. We have a duty to share it with the people, which is... Where the difficulty lies, yes. The source makes that all too clear. Salt lies at the heart of every war in Norzelia. <sighs> Would that the boundless salted sea of Roselan legend still existed. We'd have no need of conflict if there were a source of salt for all. 
my love, if I may. The discovery of the salt crystals has made two things plain to me. The first is that my mother spoke true in the legend she passed on to me. And the other is that the goddess's teachings are nothing more than a lie built to constrain your people. Just so. We are guilty of nothing. Yet the Roselle languish in the source where they are looked down upon and forced to work until they die. Entire generations lost, countless lives given to Hyzant's cruelty. Cruelty created to justify Hyzant's own avarice and lust for power. Such is the ugly lie at the heart of their teachings. One revealed by a crystal of the mineral they hold so dear. The time has come, Serenoa. The Roselle must be freed. The salt crystals have brought us to the brink of war. We can harness this unrest, incite the Roselle to rise up and rebel against their captors. I am with you. Believe me, I am. But you make it sound so... Simple. Yes, I know. But the suffering of my people is so distant for everyone else. We can no longer wait for someone to do the right thing. Help isn't coming. Why else would my own mother incite rebellion? We are alone. I swear to you, none of this feels distant to me. The Roselle live in my domain. I am betrothed to you, my dear. It couldn't feel any closer. And I thank the stars that I have you by my side. I do. In truth, that's why I think this time will be different. Why I'll be able to accomplish what my mother could not. Hmm. I agree. But the risk is immense. Suppose we succeed, what then? Aizant will not let us go quietly. Of course not. And when that time comes, you can lead the Roselle to Centralia. Just as your mother wrote about in the book she left behind. Beyond the Great Falls in the Falk's Domain at the end of the Norzelia River. The ancestral... But that's... that's just a legend. We've already found one legend to be rooted in truth. Perhaps this one is as well. And if not, at least you'll be safe from harm. <laughs> I doubt Benedict will share our feelings, though. Abandoning all we've built to embark on a journey fraught with danger... In... Yet no matter how perilous the path ahead, I would happily walk it at your side. I trust you understand what a monumental effect the discovery of these salt crystals will have on Norzelia's history. Whatever... They already control the source. With the crystals in hand, they will solidify their grip on the realm and in time dominate it. The siren song of a false equality under their goddess shall blanket the land, claiming every domain and its people. Even though they count me among the saintly seven. In the end, they will have the same life and death control over all Norzelia that they now hold over the Roselle. Hyzant will destroy us if we wage war against them in our current state. But... Quite. Think about it for a moment. Esfrost wants nothing more than to loosen Hyzant's grip. They will go to war if it means control of the salt crystals. Our interests are broadly aligned, yes, but... You speak of the Desnel, the weapon that Cordelia mentioned. Precisely. A weapon capable of reducing the goddess's shield to rubble, leaving Hyzant's capital ripe for the taking. Without that weapon, we cannot win. You need only say the word, and I shall convince Esfrost to join our side. I appreciate your candor, Benedict, and I do not doubt you could secure Esfrost's cooperation. But I fear the harder fight is within our own domain. King Roland's heart will not be easily won. I bid you listen closely and calmly to what I'm about to ask. From whence this somber tone? Do you believe King Roland is fit to rule? What are you implying? Decor, are you content to spend the rest of your life in servitude to another? 
Not another word, Benedict. Roland is more than my king. He is my friend. And you, not the guard dog of Glenbrook and Hyzant. What else are you here to do, if not to protect your house and keep it? <sighs> But you have the potential for so much. All Norzelia could be yours if you but desired it. Treason, if not outright regicide. These are your suggestions. Of course not. The I told you not to speak of that again. But you did not tell me to forget. The time to reckon with your lineage draws near. I've heard enough. Leave me. Just know that I will do anything you ask of me, Lord. I pray that you make the right, but for yourself. You are certain Hyzan's army marches for the Grand Norzelian Mines? There is no doubt. They've heard word of the Crystals. It was only a matter of time. We knew this. Esfrost's army gathers at Twinsgate as well. War's breaking out over this thing, and we've got to be ready. How will Glenbrook respond, King Roland? There's no need to prepare for war. I have decided that we will surrender the salt crystals to the holy state of Hyzant. What? Furthermore, I hereby declare that the kingdom of Glenbrook and its people shall submit to the goddess and her teachings. There is no way to bring happiness to all Norzelia with the salt crystals, which is why I have chosen a path that will allow the greatest number of people to live in equality and harmony. How could you? Do you not see that Hyzant's dominion over Norzelia's salt is why we are in conflict already? Is the suffering of the Rizal not proof enough that the goddess's vaunted equality is a lie? She speaks the truth, my king. Handing over the salt crystals is tantamount to giving Hyzant's goddess free reign of Norzelia. Will you so readily surrender the realm to the Hierophant? I acknowledge the abdication of my kingdom and kingship alike. A small price to pay in my eyes. In exchange for the security and prosperity of the many. And the sacrifice of the Rozel. Is that a small price to you? It is. How could you say such a thing to my face? I for one oppose. I would prefer to ally with Esfrost and strike back at Hyzant. The salt deposits within the mines give us the leverage we need to convince Gustadolf to join us. Ally with Esfrost? You dare suggest we ally with the man who murdered my father? I see no reason why we should not. You proposed abdicating the throne for the sake of the kingdom and its people, so you should have no trouble putting aside your own feelings and judging this matter dispassionately. I cannot believe my own ears. I will not have you lecture me on feelings when it is not your father he murdered. None of you can see beyond your own grievances. It's no wonder my people have suffered for generations. We're told to believe in the goddess, while our own lives are thrown away to make a few more grains of your precious salt. And now, even with proof that the goddess is a lie, you would watch us dig our own graves for your comfort. Lady Frederica, please. We shall speak of the Roselle in due time. No. I've heard that before. Your due time is never, and I will not have you cast us aside for another three decades or more. All else is in disarray. If Hyzant seizes the Salt Crystals, we forfeit the best opportunity in decades to free my people. We know the truth. We must act upon it. We must be a light in the darkness. We cannot afford to dilute our forces when the enemy marches on us as we speak. So we are a distraction to you? I am merely being rational. Liberating the Roselle would be extremely dangerous. 
We cannot take such a risk. Suppose we succeed. How do you propose we fend off the fury Hyzant will rain down upon us? Astros would pounce on us, sensing weakness at the undue burden we've taken upon ourselves. Precisely. We would be without allies and ripe for the taking. There is another way. And what, pray tell, would that be? We set out alongside the Roselle in search of Centralia. Centralia is a myth. The legends of my people are true. I care not one whit if they are. I will hear no talk of forsaking the Wolfort domain. Silence! I have heard enough to know where each of you stand. Do you all hold the courage of your own convictions? I do. Nothing I've heard here has swayed me. I feel the same. Very well. But know that a choice must be made. There can only be one way forward. Face the scales of conviction and prepare to make peace with the outcome. Sarah Noah. I have made my decision. I think not. Moreover, Sarah Noah. But... Hmm... I have decided. What do you need? What if... I don't know.
I wonder about that. But... However... I... But... I lad. Here's what I think. Besides... Are you joking? Lord Saranoa. However... Well then... But... The opinions... I agree wholeheartedly. You have my vote. I cannot be swayed. I'm with you. The way forward is decided. We will follow Benedict's plan and join forces with Esfrost to lay Hyzant low.